Olivier Giroud, thank you so much for sparing time in your unbelievably busy schedule with all the training and everything to come and do this interview. I would like to say that I'm very happy to, to be here with you. Uh, it's a great honour for me. So, football? Uh, basically, I uh, started kicking the ball from a very small age. Maybe uh, I remember a photo of myself, my mother keep showing me with a bottle in the right hand. And, uh, <laughs> and kicking the ball uh, with the left foot. So I was uh, uh, just basically starting walking when I, I started to play football. And very quickly you were in all the teams growing up? Yeah, I, I grew up in a, in a nice uh, uh, family uh, in my small town and I just enjoyed play, playing football with my friends until my 11, 12 years old uh, in my town. And after the, um, the serious uh, part uh, start uh, in uh, yeah when I was 12 13 years old and I, I started to, to play for a bigger team mm. uh, it's called Grenoble where I come from near the Alps in France and yeah I step by step I, I, I just um, improve and, and keep believe I, I could have the opportunity to to become a one day professional football player yeah, yeah. and then eventually Arsenal Chelsea and of course for France. Yeah, Arsenal when I it was a kind of a dream for me mm. playing Premier League and when uh, Arsene Wenger called me and just said I want to sign you it was uh, I couldn't believe it. So mm. uh, I was praying for this happen, you know, and uh, it was uh, one of uh, a great day of my mm. of my life. And then of course you won four FA Cups, three for Arsenal, one mm -hmm. for Chelsea. So yeah, three uh, with Arsenal, one with Chelsea, uh, three Community Shields. And uh, there is a little story about my efficiency, my success uh, about regarding the games at Wembley because we play the FA Cups game uh, in Wembley, the semi-finals and the finals. And uh, it appears that uh, I'm unbeated uh, at Wembley regarding the FA Cup game. So that's, um, that's a good record, you know, and I'm quite, quite proud to, to say it. And, and of course, um, then winning the World Cup with France. Yeah, in July, the 15th of July 2018, the data will never forget. <laughs> we just uh, realized, uh, achieved um, a great achievement, if I can say, and the best um, thing ever for a football player, winning the World Cup. There is nothing above it. And yeah, uh, this day was a very, very special day. And then you go down the Champs-Élysées, a million people. Yeah, the best feeling ever. And you, you feel so proud. And uh, I, I say that's the best feeling ever. And there is nothing above it because when you win the league with your club, it's, uh, um, it's about the city, you know? And when you win something with your country, it's, uh, mm. wow, the impact is, is much bigger. Mm. And you scored over well over 200 goals at that kind of level. Uh, yes, in some professional, someone told me a few months ago I score um, yeah roughly 240 goals. Wow. So it's not the thousand of Pelé, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously uh, that's um, that's a good number, you know. And uh, I still uh, want more and more. And uh, I always said that I will play football because um, that's my passion and. I will play until my body uh, will allow me. 
uh, I mean, they're amazing watching those goals. But uh, there's one particularly one that I love. It's like, I, I'm not an expert on football, but <laughs> the Scorpion goal, uh, which you won, like the most beautiful goal of the year. How do you do that? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> no, to be I mean, like you just do a somersault and then kick it with your heel it's into just, the corner of the goal. Just about, uh, it's all about balance and uh, stability and <laughs> flexibility. Obviously, I had uh, a maximum of uh, of efficiency, luck. You you can call it whatever you want, but it's. Obviously, uh, if I try thousands of, of times this, this this one again, I'm not gonna score even more because it, it's going on a crossbar, and after him, yes. it's even more impressing. So yeah, it was the first surprise, you know, and um, uh, yeah, I think this day um, I can say the the Lord uh, helped me to to score this goal definitely. And um, recently, I think you produce this magazine, mm -hmm. Jesus, here you are on the front cover. And that was on every French newsstand. And, but you talk very personally about your faith in Jesus. Yeah. Um, and what Jesus means to you? I, I used to say, you know, when media asked me, where, where, where does your mental strength come from? Mm. Uh, and I used to answer, because um, Jesus, uh, the Lord, is uh, on next to me, like he's always looking after me. Um, and I, I really believe I have, um, we say, bonne étoile, bonne étoile in French, like a good star above <laughs> your head. And you always uh, point in this direction yeah, when you yeah, score a goal. Yeah, it's true. And I, I just want to, to thank uh, him for always. Um, supporting me and uh, obviously when I run on the pitch when I score goals it's myself but um, every every time uh, I had to make a very very important decision mm -hmm. uh, you always pray a lot um, I pray every day but sometimes you know there are some some very important choice you need to to make um, uh, the right decision and so far, uh, I've done all, all through my career the right decision. So um, I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I'm sure uh, he's always listening to what we, uh, what we want to ask him. And uh, uh, I will never forget that um, he gave me the opportunity to, to realize, uh, to, to live my dream. Now, your, your life, to many people looking on, people look at your life and they think, success, no, my life fame, is perfect. <laughs> um, you know, rewards of every yeah. kind, happy family, mm -hmm. um, like life must be perfect. But, but talk about, because I think every, everyone will be aware that to be a footballer, you must be surrounded by so much temptation. Uh, regarding temptations, obviously, um, when you are successful and uh, you earn a lot of money, mm. you are always exposed. But I think one more time, we are not robots, we yeah. are just human. Uh, nobody is perfect and obviously we all do mistakes. Yeah. The most important thing is to take conscience, you know, about uh, everything can hurt your family and Obviously, um, people around you, your friends, and uh, the family is the most important yeah. thing, you know. And um, and what do you do with failure when you when you make mistakes? Yeah, you have to, uh, you know, God forgives. Yeah. Uh, and um, the most important is to learn from your mistakes yeah. and not doing it anymore. And always, uh, I like praying to. Um, to keep going that way. And how do you cope also, because there's, there's all that stuff, that all those challenges, but also just the losing, disappointments. You don't win every match. <laughs> yeah, but it's part of the job you have to, I mean, I can't accept to lose, uh, but we are forced to uh, uh, learn from, you know, I, I, I like this, uh, like, this sentence which uh, say uh, 
you don't lose, you just learn. Mm. It's true that every single uh, defeat in football or, you know, when things are not going in the right way, you have always to be positive and to to see what you can improve, you know, and uh, one more time to step up and to always uh, give the best. And being positive was a big, big um, talent, if I can say, um, virtue mm. of um, Arsene Wenger when we were at Arsenal. It was, uh, it was so positive, even when we, when we lost, you know, and he just wanted the next job uh, mentality, you know, always uh, pushing his, um, his players to, to react and to show some character. And this is, a, say, a leadership conference. There are lots of young leaders here. Um, what would your advice to them be? OK, so I'm still young, you know, <laughs> but if I can give advice is always, uh, always keep believe, keep believing in your faith in what you can uh, achieve in life. Um, Keep confidence, no matter what happens. Uh, always be positive. Mm. I learned from Wenger. And yeah, the, even if you are not in a good mood or you're not having a good day, you need to um, to see the, the bigger picture of, uh, you know, what the Lord wants to to, to show you, to, to, to help you to, to achieve, you know, in your life. Olivier Giroud, thank you so much. Thank you.